One of Britain's most notorious pedophiles has been sentenced to 32 years in prison. Matthew Falder pleaded guilty to 137 charges, including blackmail and encouraging the rape of a minor. Agencies across the world were involved in the operation to catch Falder. Seema Katecha with our partners at BBC News is in Birmingham. What, 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 so what, what was it I've done? Oh, what was it I'm supposed to have done? So. Dr. Matthew Falder being arrested at his workplace last year. The 29-year-old spent years posing as a female artist online to trick his victims into sending him naked pictures of themselves. Sounds like the rap sheet from hell. Just distributing indecent images of children. He then researched their profiles on social media and used that information to blackmail them into sending him more images. He even installed secret cameras in people's homes. Folder contacted more than 300 people worldwide, offering them money in exchange for photos. His youngest victim was just 13. One of his victims told us she can no longer trust anybody. I didn't want to stay at home because he knew where I lived. I couldn't concentrate on anything. I couldn't talk to my family. I felt like I was ashamed of what I was doing. I didn't want to go out on the street because he might be there. I didn't feel safe anywhere. Last year, he pleaded guilty to 137 charges, including encouraging the rape of a child and possessing a paedophile manual. You've got a victim, uh, you might have an email contact, that's it. Um, so it's a really tricky starting point. Um, and then what you've then got is people like him who are using all the tools in the toolbox that are available to him to stay hidden. Folder was under surveillance for several months during a four-year investigation. The Cambridge graduate was then identified by the National Crime Agency. For the first time, it worked with partner agencies across the world, such as the FBI, the Australian Federal Police and Europol, to find the man who was behind the messages. There were contacts made with people in Slovenia, Australia, there were victims in the United States, and there were victims all over England and Wales and Scotland. Um, and we then had to try and piece together information across many different police forces. Folder lived in these block of flats. He worked at Birmingham University. Now, officers say his motivation was power and control. He wanted his victims to feel embarrassed and humiliated, and he was confident he could outwit the authorities. He reached out to vulnerable people seeking work on websites such as Gumtree with the intention of manipulating them. He used names such as 666 Devil and Evil Mind on the dark net to communicate with other paedophiles. On the dark net, he wrote about one of his victims, saying, To be honest, I'm thinking that based on how in love and mentally struggling she seems to be, then I should be able to get some good nudes from her willingly. I'm not sure if I care if she lives or dies, to be honest. In court, the paedophile showed no remorse. The judge told him, you wanted to assume total control over your victims. You were cruel and manipulative.